All right, guys, so this is going to be a very quick and easy tutorial for you to follow. If you have any questions, please let me know. I did do another video tutorial on this previously for my truck. I had one that said back off and it has currently over 50,000 views and counting. So I want another little tiny uh, car decal on my car and I wanted to show you quickly how to do this. So I'm choosing one that says Seven Dust. If you don't know who Seven Dust is, they are my favorite band. So go check them out if you're interested in it. They are heavy metal, but that is what I love. So that is my favorite band, Seven Dust. This is what it's going to look like, but I wanted to show you exactly how to do this. So I'm going to be starting in Google here. So I'm gonna pull it up and I'm gonna start in Google and I'm just gonna type in Seven Dust. SVG and you can use anything. It doesn't have to be seven dust. You can use, you know, whatever band you like. You can do an animal that you like. You could do whatever you want, any kind of decal you want on my car. I did one for my daughter for a band that she loves and everybody was asking me to create her one. So it was kind of neat. So again, just starting in uh, Google, type in whatever you want SVG and then I click on images and then I look through them and figure out which ones I can use. So some of them you have to pay for. Oops, I'm trying to drag this down but it doesn't want to. All right, so we'll just skip that. So I'm I'm trying to find one that has a white background or that doesn't say, um, you know, a watermark on it or anything like that. So I found one, it was just at the top here. I chose this one and then I chose this one. So what I did was I right click with my mouse and then I go to save image as, and then you save it whatever you want it to be called. I'm just gonna leave it like this, and I'm gonna click save, and I'm gonna replace it because I already have one saved in here. Then I'm going to use this one, so I'm gonna right click, do the same thing, same image, save image as, and then it's gonna pull it up, and I'm gonna change the name on this one to two because I don't wanna replace the one that I just did. So now it is up here in my downloads. I'm gonna shrink my screen a little bit and show you guys how to do this. And unfortunately, I think I have to shrink this screen too, just because I have two screens and I don't think it's going to um, pull it up on here. The reason I'm pulling up two screens is so you could see me. So I'm gonna go to upload here and you guys might already know how to do this, but in case you don't, I'm just gonna show you really quick. So you're gonna go to upload images and this is why I wanted to shrink my screen. I'm gonna take my download here and all I do is click it and drag it in here. See, and there it is. So I'm gonna click on simple. I'm gonna click continue and all I wanna do is make sure to get rid of all the white spaces there so that it just has these checkerboard on here. It's exactly how I want it. I'm gonna click apply and continue. I'm going to cut, I'm going to click on the cut image because I don't wanna print and cut it. And I'm gonna click upload, upload. I'm gonna do it again for the next one. So I'm gonna to go to upload image, go back to my little download section here and then get the second one. So I know it's index, here it is again, simple push continue, and then just get rid of the gray or white spots so you have what is left here. I'm gonna click continue. I'm gonna go here to cut image and upload. I'm gonna make my screen bigger so we can not see all the stuff behind it. And now I'm just going to go to, um, let's see, we're just gonna click upload again to get rid of that um, in there. So here's what I have. I'm actually gonna, sorry guys, I'm actually gonna go back in to upload. I'm gonna grab these two that I just did, grab them, push add to canvas, and then it's going to bring it up here. And then I'm gonna show you um, how I did it to look like this. I want it centered and I wanted it a different size. So here it is. The seven dust one here looks a little bit different than this because I found it somewhere else, but just to visualize what it's gonna look like and show you how to do it, this is what it is. So I'm just gonna grab this, make it larger. And like I said, it doesn't have to be this. It can be anything you want. I actually did a few of these videos, so if you're interested in learning more or finding out how to make more of these, I do have a couple of videos. Like I said, I had that really big one, the back off one that I did in the back of my truck window. Again, 50,000 views. Thank you guys for all of that. I really appreciate all the views and comments on that. So all I did with this was just make it a little bit bigger. You can unlock it here and change it to whatever size you want. You know, I can leave this one down here and I can make it a little bit bigger. Um, but basically all I did was that, that's it. I just change the size and then I select both of the images and I go up to align and I center, center it. 
which was pretty good. So there it is. Um, I'm actually, you know what? I like both of these. I think I might cut out both of these. So one last thing I did for this was I actually pushed weld on here um, just in case the pieces uh, were not attached together in here. I pushed weld instead of attach because sometimes if it's touching right here, or you know right here even Cricut might cut it out like a line here so that's just why I do attach that's just me so actually I'm gonna resize this a little bit I just want it on the back of my window on my truck so I'm just gonna take it and shrink it a little bit and um, you just want to figure out what size you want what window you want to put it on do you want it on your back bumper you know whatever but I just I I like to show people um, things so I'm gonna make my actually a little bit bigger um not really i'm not paying attention up here you can do it the width and height that you want like if you wanted a specific size i don't really mind i just like mine to be a little bit bigger and a little bit more noticeable like i said i'm going to cut out both of these so i'll show you what it looks like in the, when i'm finished so now that i'm done with that i know it's both on basic cut i do want them both on actually you know what i'm thinking about it, i do want them white um so i'm going to click actually both of these and go up to the color box here and change it to white um, just because I want mine to cut out white because my windows are tinted black. So this shows it a little bit better here. So if I did not weld this right here, I wish I could unweld it. One thing, if you push weld, you cannot undo it. So be careful when you do it because once it's done, it is finished. Again, if you don't push attach, Cricut will actually cut little pieces out on each one of these. So you want to make sure you push weld. So I'm going to go up here to make it. I'm going to be putting this on regular 651 vinyl. I do want it to be permanent. I do want it to stick on my window for a very long time. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to just move this just a little bit to give myself a little bit of room in between here, each one. I'm going to push continue and I'm going to show you which material I like to use. And for what works for me is actually I go to pressure and I do more. And you want to make sure that you have a very sharp um, new fine point blade in your clamp A here. That is really, really important. Um, you know what? I'm going to do a giveaway, actually. A company reached out to me and sent me some blades, and they sent me quite a few to do some giveaways for. Um, I'm going to do a giveaway for these blades. To enter this, all you got to do is leave a comment down below, and then if you wouldn't mind, just share my video. Share the heck out of it, guys. Tell people about I Create Crafts. I love doing crafts. I love showing you guys how to do things. Leave a comment down below about this video, if you like it, that you shared, whatever, and I will... Um, randomly pick one person from the comments down below to win the package of blades and I absolutely love these blades I bought mine over a year ago and I still I probably used one or two blades so they go a long way so anyways go ahead and do that I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out on um 651 vinyl I'm gonna put it on a green mat so I'm not gonna show you guys that because you probably know how to do that I'm gonna cut and weed it out and then I'm gonna show you the process outside of my um, house on my car you have to clean it and do all that kind of stuff get it prepped so I'm gonna show you all that in case you guys don't know stay tuned leave some comments hit that like button hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and let's get going guys Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so we're outside. I have my transfer tape on. Here's my truck. Do not mind my messy truck. Like I said, we're in winter right now. It's actually 8 degrees outside, so I have to go really quick. Not a good idea to do a transfer at 8 degree weather. I would do it warmer, but I'm not waiting till summer, so this is where I'm going to be putting it. I did not measure it, but I would highly suggest measuring it. I kind of had an idea of how big I wanted it, so it turned out perfect. So I'm just going to take some Windex. You can also take alcohol and clean your spot really well. And like I said, I did a video on this before um, with my truck with the back top being on with a really huge back off one, and that one went really well. Unfortunately, I got rid of it, so I need a new sticker on here. So I'm just going to show you guys really quick how to do this. So you just want to make sure it's really clean and very dry. And like I said, I'm using 651 permanent vinyl, so this will not come off. If you do want it to come off, it, it is kind of easier to do. All you do is take like a, an X-Acto knife and you scrape it. You don't want to scrape your window, but you want to scrape the vinyl off, which it does come off rather easy. So I have it clean, I have it dry, I have my transfer tape on. All I want to do is take this off, and I gotta hurry because my fingers are freezing, is take this off. Ooh. So here's the design, if you guys can see that. And I'm just gonna, I'm trying to place it, I should be inside my truck, but I have this on here, so it's hard to take it off. So I want to do it high enough 
you know, that people can see it. And also trying to keep it straight. So I'm gonna leave it there. It's on, it's not gonna come off anymore. So what you wanna do is, I forgot my scraper, but ideally you wanna take your scraper and you wanna scrape it on really well. I forgot mine in the house. You wanna make sure you don't have any bubbles or anything in it. <clears throat> and then just peel back. Oh man, it's so cold, I can't even grab it. Do it. My fingers are frozen. Ideally, like I said, you wanna do it in warmer weather. But just like that, and if it does come off, just use your fingers and push it down. But this is not any weather to do it for. So, just like that. I love how it turned out. I might put one on the side over here too as well, but I like this. Just think when you're putting on where you want your placement to be that you're not going too high or too low. I do love how that looks. So if you guys like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you share my video. You will have a chance to win the blades which are really amazing like i said i use maybe one or two blades that for the whole year so it's a really good opportunity um if you have any questions or anything on this please let me know go back check out my other videos i do have a couple of other ones i show you how to make different ones and then I, how to sell them too actually i sell mine um they do really well at the stores that i'm in i actually sold out a bunch of times so i have to create some more so happy crafting everyone and uh, give me a thumbs up bye